Hi everyone! So maybe you are an adult like me who don't know if they are on the spectrum or not and there's no place you can go to find out if you are but there are tons of quizzes online quizzes that you can try and maybe get to know yourself more do some research before you throw the money into seeing a professional about it most services out there questionnaires and all these are for parents and children but there are a few questionnaires that we can try and i've uh, filtered out two best quizzes that i think are most suitable if you're an adult and you think you might be on the autism spectrum. Okay, I'm just gonna use a tablet here because I can't really memorize everything. Quiz number one is the autism spectrum quotient, also known as the AQ. This is created by psychologist Simon Baron Cohen and his colleagues at Cambridge Autism Research Center. I've put the link down below if you're interested in trying it out. Uh, it's a quiz scored upon 50 points and if you have scored more than 32 points, chances of you being autistic or having at least a related disorder is pretty high. I would say it's almost certain. When I first took the quiz, I got a 33 and I had my dad try it out as well and he got something like a 36 or 38. There are some questions that I didn't really understand, maybe due to the cultural context and all that since I'm not from a Western background. Okay, so for example, I had problems with questions like, um, do you find it easy to make up stories? It's raining. It's good. So do you find it easy to make up stories, which I'm not sure what they're asking because if I am good at reading fiction or writing fiction, does that make me good at making up stories? If I like to role play, if I like fantasy, if I like to play Dungeons and Dragons or tabletop games, does that make me good at making up stories? Or do you mean like uh, making up a story about someone else or gossiping, which I can never ever do? Another question I have problems is, are you good at games that involves pretending when you were a kid, which I do not understand and I do not know because we don't have those kind of games as kids. We had games that involved uh, skipping, jumping upstairs and crazy gymnastic like games that you know um, Asian kids. If you think skipping rope requires a lot of finesse, you haven't seen Asian skipping rope games. Okay, so I've taken the quiz again recently like last night and I actually scored like a 40. But that's because I've interpreted some of the questions differently from the last time I tried it. Maybe my real score could be somewhere in between, I'm not so sure. When you are more aware of yourself, I think you will answer the questions a little bit differently as well. I would say that this quiz is a great place to start because this is one of the really legit quizzes that they would use if you go to a clinic to get diagnosed. One of the clinics that I'll be going to in a couple of months is using this quiz and they are one of the very few, maybe the only center for adults with autism in this region. Of course, with any quizzes, you should take it with a pinch of salt, but uh, be careful when you go to a doctor with the quizzes because sometimes if you don't go to the right doctor, they'll just completely ignore you anyway, which is what happened to me. Okay, so due to the nature of the questions and the quizzes, it's still best to consult a professional if you think you might be on the spectrum, but this is a great place to start. I cannot stress enough that you have to make sure you are going to the correct professional because if you go to a doctor who don't know much about autism in adults or isn't up to date with their research and their information, they can actually make things worse for you, so be really careful about that. Other than that, I would say this quiz is a great place to start because it has only 50 questions. You can finish this in maybe 5-10 minutes. Okay, so now we've come to uh, quiz number 2. This one I thought was really good. It's called the Ritvo Autism Asperger Diagnostic Scale Revised, otherwise known as the R-A-A-D-S-R Redzer Red. Let's just call it the Reds Quiz. I really like how this quiz is definitely geared towards the adults because there are four options. True now when I was young, true only now, true only when I was younger than 16 and never true. So it does cover your childhood and your adulthood separately. It asks you questions and you have to think back on those things. And I like how that when the results do come out, you can see the graph compared to other males and females who have taken the test and also to both 
autistic, non-autistic, suspected, and uh, diagnosed people as well. This is really great because you can really see that being autistic is a spectrum and you can really see that the males and females are kind of on different parts of that spectrum as well. That an autistic female is different from a non-autistic female but autistic females are not equal to autistic males in terms of uh, the traits that they show. Most of the women who are diagnosed are those who present the symptoms like autistic men. Uh, there are some journals you can read about that. Knowing this fact, maybe we are also missing out on a lot of men who present their autism in a different way than the stereotypical autistic male. Okay, so back to the red, red quiz. I like how this quiz feels much more accurate and realistic because a lot of us adults would have learned how to hide, cope or mask our autism by the time we are old enough. For example, in my case, I've learned to become a chameleon by mirroring my peers and the people I talk to and when that fails, I copy anime lines and just quote them, which gets me into a lot of trouble but that's for another video. Most of the time, when an autistic person is struggling, you can't really tell because number one, it doesn't show on our faces. Number two, they can put on a perfect mask, but once they go home, they are exhausted and they want to just lie in their beds and never come out again. So I feel this quiz actually does address that bit about um, adults coping with it differently. However, this quiz is not without criticism because there are some questions I don't think that might work for some of us. For example, the questions here do require you to be pretty self-aware and also know the mistakes that you have made with other people. And some of these questions rely on the feedback that you get from the people around you. Now, the problem with this is our perspective of ourselves can be pretty different or skewed due to the biased feedback we get from people since most of us don't have many friends or friends. And questions such as, I speak with normal rhythm doesn't apply. For example, in my case, I actually had a tight tongue, but I sound generally normal. This definitely varies from person to person. And if you are like me, which is, uh, you know, I'm bilingual because I come from a place where everybody speaks at least two or more languages. So switching around languages, um, speaking with a rhythm that's a little bit off is nothing strange over here. My point here is that for these quizzes, some of the questions are pretty open to interpretation, but they are pretty suitable for adults who have a general high level of self-awareness. It is also interesting to note that self-awareness is also a double-edged sword when it comes to getting help from professionals because I've been told by a doctor that I couldn't be autistic because I am too self-aware. The conclusion is this, that quizzes are a great way to start your diagnostic journey or just a journey to discovering yourself, even just to go find more people in the forums like you thinking whether you might be on the spectrum or not. And the more you research, the more you will be certain. And in the end, the only person who really understands you is yourself. There is nothing to lose really from doing these quizzes. So you can just go ahead and give it a try. I'll put down the links down below so you can uh, take those quizzes and let me know your results if you want to, if you're comfortable with that. My channel is pretty new, so if you would like to subscribe to my channel, that would really help me out a lot. So thanks a lot. Bye.